Hello, 8th graders. We hope you've enjoyed 8th grade day so far. We're just about done, but we still have a couple more things for you. Now, you may be familiar with the infamous Harry Potter sorting hat that sorts students into different houses. We're going to do something similar. We're going to evoke your subconscious to see what school might be a good fit for you. Now, in order for this to work, you will need to follow my instructions precisely. In a moment, you'll be shown a series of school logos outlined in either a green or a yellow. I'm going to have you start on a yellow square of your choosing. This will be a completely free choice, but once you make your choice, you cannot change it. I will then ask you to move to squares of a certain color that's nearest to your current square. It's important that you do move to the nearest one. This might be one, two, or three spaces from you, but it's important that you look around first and choose the square nearest to you as I will state in the directions. Are you ready? Let's begin. I'm going to mix up the cards and add in our logos. And I'm going to have you start by selecting any yellow square you want. In fact, it will be even easier if you put your finger on that yellow square. Just go ahead and get close to your screen and put your finger on your screen on the yellow square of your choice. Now, as you go through life, there are times that you're going to feel like you're going forward and times you feel like you're going backwards. Look carefully at your yellow square that your finger is on. Look to the left and the right of it. Now move left or right to the nearest green square. This may be one, two, or three spots from where you are now, but it should be left or right from your original yellow square. Leave your finger now on this green square. Life itself is also filled with many hills and valleys, and these ups and downs will be part of your life, and they all serve their own purpose and value. It is through our ups that we are affirmed and through our downs that we learn. Look at the green square you are on. At this time, move up or down to the nearest yellow square. Again, it might be one or two spaces from where you are now, but wherever the closest yellow square is to you, up or down, is where you will move. Now, one thing you will soon discover about high school is that it will go by incredibly fast. It reminds me of a kid sliding down a slide. Sometimes you may want it to even slow down, but before you know it, the ride will be over. At this time, look at the yellow square you are on. Now moving diagonally in any direction, move to the nearest green square. Again, it could be one, two, maybe even three spaces from where you're at, but you're going to move diagonally to the nearest green square. Finally, it's important as you prepare yourself for your future that you pick a school that is going to know you work with you and help guide you to a successful future. To see the school that your subconscious might be leading you to, move left or right to the nearest yellow square. Again, this might be one, two, or even three spaces from where you're at. But speaking of where you're at, you're now at a place that we hope will become a second home to you. Welcome to Crespi, eighth graders. Welcome home. Well, Crespi Carmelite class of 2025, we are so happy that you are here with us today. From my point of view, Dr. Joyce and all of our staff and faculty, we are thrilled you took the time to come and spend some time with us. We are hopeful that you learned a lot about Crespi, saw some of our amazing students, staff and faculty, and we know that you will make the right choice and come to Crespi. Have a great weekend.